The death of Audrina Patridge's 15-year-old niece Sadie is being investigated by police who want to track down who supplied the teen with drugs, RadarOnline.com has learned. Law enforcement sources revealed Sadie died from a narcotic overdose. The cause of death has yet to be released due to potential criminal charges being brought in the future. Police are determined to track down who supplied Sadie with the drugs. Law enforcement sources claim the teen purchased Percocet through Snapchat but it was laced with fentanyl. Back in February, Audrina announced the tragic news to her fans on Instagram. She wrote, My beautiful niece is now in heaven. I know it's not goodbye forever, but it is the hardest to say goodbye for now. We will miss you and cherish every single moment we had with you. Rest in peace say say. We love you forever and ever. Audrina's family launched a GoFundMe to raise funds for a new charity they launched in honor of Sadie. The campaign website reads, All donations will support the Sadie Rain Foundation established to help teens and their families. Sadie was a beautiful dreamer, and together we will change the world for our youth. Days before her death, Sadie was seen celebrating her birthday with her mom Casey Loza. Casey shared a clip on Instagram captioned, I can't believe you're 15. It feels like the years flew by and we still have so many more adventures to go on. Sadie's mom then listed a series of things the duo had planned to do in the future. Aliens in Sedona, portals, learning to drive in the desert haha I love you so much my little clone. You're so beautiful, kind, smart and funny. That dry EAF British humor though. I'm so proud to be your mom and I cannot wait to see the insane ancient civilization architecture you're going to construct someday, she continued, signing off, I love you so so much my Sadie Rain, she wrote. Following her death, Casey wrote, Sadie Rain Loza has left this earth for the heavens. Writing this was the hardest thing I ever have had to do. She added, Sadie liked to remind me that the first law of thermodynamics aka, law of conservation of energy, works in all spheres of life. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only be changed from one form to another. Transformation is a better word than death. 